Hi guys, welcome to Metabox Tutorials. Today we're going to create a video gallery page using Metabox and Oxygen like this. As you can see, this page shows the list of videos with additional information. Each video's information will be saved in a single post. In particular, the information about the video is the default information of the post. For videos, instead of uploading them to the website which makes the site heavy, I will use videos on YouTube. Then I'll set those links in the custom field and display the videos from them. First, we need the Metabox Core plugin to have a framework that allows you to create custom fields to input video information. It's free and available on WordPress.org. You can download it directly. Besides, we need some Metabox extensions for advanced features. You can install the extension individually or if you have the Metabox AIO which has all Metabox extensions. Make sure that you activate the following extensions. MB Custom Post Type helps to create custom post types. And Metabox Builder has a UI on the back end to create custom fields easily. The last one is Oxygen. You should use the 3.9 version or higher, which already has native integration with Metabox. Let's start now. Go to Metabox and create a new post type. Pay attention to this tab. In this video, I want to display the author's information, so tick this option. Thus, there will be an author section in the post editor of this post type for filling in the information about the author. After publishing, you'll see a new menu. It's your post type. Now, create custom fields for your post type. In this tutorial, I'll create only one custom field that is to save the link of the video as I said at the beginning. We normally use the URL field to save links, but if we use it, Oxygen will display the link in text only, then we must take a few more steps to convert the link into the video preview. However, Metabox has the O-Embed fields that allow you to save the link and display it as the video preview on front end, so we choose the O-Embed for this case for more convenience. Then, go to the Settings tab. Choose Location as Post Type, then select Video to apply the created field to this post type. After publishing, you'll see the created custom field in the post editor. When creating the post type, we added the author option in the support tab. So we have this section to choose the author of the post here. Just fill in the information for the post. Let's move on to the next steps. Now, I'll create a template with Oxygen. I choose the inactive default page to inherit its style. Next, create a new page for the video gallery. This is a blank page, so I'll choose the video gallery template. Let's edit the page with Oxygen. To get the title of the page automatically, add the heading component. Then, connect it with the title of the page. Add a section component for the section to display the video gallery. To get all the posts of video post type, select a repeater component inside the section component. Then, go to query to choose the source of data, set it as custom, and select post type then find the ID of the created post type for our video gallery. Change the preview render section into single mode to see the preview of a post only. Now, I'll add a class to this div tag for styling later easily. Inside this div, add a video component. This is the default video preview from Oxygen. Let's change the link here by inserting the dynamic data for the custom field. Click this button then choose the meta custom field and choose the fields id. Then you'll see the video preview immediately. It is taken from the link saved in the custom field. For other information of the video, I add a new div tag for easy styling later. In this div tag, add an image component to get the author's avatar. Click the data button, and choose author pick to get the image. One more time, I create another div tag for the remaining information. To display the title of the video, add the text link component, then connect it to the post's title.
The video's description, author name, and published date are all text only, so I add the text component. So, all the video information has been displayed. After saving the template, go to the front end, you can see the video gallery. Let's style this page. For styling, go back to the page editor with Oxygen. Then choose each component and change the settings to style them. For the video gallery, select the repeater component and change the preview render to normal mode to display all the posts in the preview. Then change its settings. You can choose each component inside the repeater to style each one individually. If you want the video gallery to display more beautifully, you can add CSS like this. All the code I've uploaded to GitHub and put the link in the description of this video. You can refer to it. Go to the video gallery page on the front end, you'll see the new look. That's all for the tutorial today. If you want to try other methods, please watch our other tutorials on this channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to us for more tutorials. Bye.